hey guys welcome back again to another video you're not expecting so today you guys know i talk about so many countries but today we're talking about our dearest canada so canada has been like one of the top destinations for most immigrants but then just because of the rate of visa denial um their condition clinical canada can be worked is just using us to do shakaba anyways i came up with some list of according to my research which i actually feel like might actually be the problem or whatever you actually know that canada actually introduced permanent residency so express entry proficient nomination regional all those nomination 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 clinical yeah in as much as they actually introduced that right and in as much as they actually introduced that sometimes even when you calculate your score and you feel like you don't meet the cutoff and everything now according to what is going to happen like you know for now the express entry and provision nomination is actually closed so from january they're actually going to open um the portal again the process again so what they're actually looking for let me go and I'll tell you so it is not about your mark it is not about your score sometimes not sometimes what i feel like to actually consider this time is these are the things i feel like they will consider and that's why i'm making this video now so if you feel like so just for some of it i actually feel like oh you have high score and then you'll be qualified and that's just for you to like comfort you before you get that unfortunate message that you're actually not qualified so with the way they think everything is going now you know that because of the covid thing so many countries are trying to uh, recover and canada is one of the last country to actually recover from their covid we all know that canada is one of the last country and now because of the ongoing war there are so many things that is becoming so expensive so scarce in the country like because of the um ongoing war so so many countries actually depend on these two mighty countries that they actually have an issue together so because of that canada not just canada most countries now they will actually kind of want to put preference to jobs that will actually bring value to them and not just bringing out any people or anybody so they will want to like give more preference to job in item so the first on my list is they are going to consider people workers that are trying to that will actually move in rural area i've made a video about that when i talked about 12 best way to actually move to canada so um we all know that when people are moving um from their own country to canada sometimes they like to move to toronto vancouver and everything you see all those local local village place nobody wants to move there so if you're considering your pl your express entry or anything try to make sure that your location or the location you are choosing is one of these very rural area it will make you to have high chances so canada is actually doing this so that um canada can actually have generally have a work-life balance with the urban area and the rural area now i see maybe people in the rural area that they efficient you know in coming from africa when you go to the rural area you actually feel the effect like there's no lights there's no amenities and any one of that and there's no sufficient health care hmm look at this one this one is just making me be with please just stay like that don't, don't just like that it's making me maintain some views don't you get it so that's why canada is trying to maintain work like balance from rural area to urban area so that whatever people in the urban area actually have access to people in the rural area as well will actually have access to it so if you're considering looking for a job in canada or my just make sure that your first target should be rural area very very local area so that way you actually have high chances toronto vancouver ontario and all those this day is very very competitive extremely competitive so they are just going for the best so the next one is bilingual you all know that canada is actually an english-speaking country but then it is actually a bilingual country french and french and english so your best bet for you to have more chances of actually getting hired or moving to canada is actually learning french it's very very important and one thing i like about french is one of those easiest language in most african countries i don't know about asia in most african countries we actually did french in school comment ça va ça va bien clinical so even before you actually apply you can start learning french you can watch videos online how to learn french french is one of those easiest things for you to learn especially if you actually did it in secondary school so you had in um ability to speak french to your cv yeah to the qualification will actually give you high chances because they actually feel like you want somebody that actually can actually um speak french and not just only english it's actually a very very high and because aside that the french as well actually has its own point so another one they are looking at is 
people are be foreigners with actually eye skills when i talk about eye skills not that you cannot just say oh you want to go to canada to go and be a cleaner and everything that one is kind of difficult because they can actually recruit people locally for that you have to be highly skilled as when i talk i there's different between skilled and highly skilled extremely skilled skilled work that will like yes it took you number of years to actually attain when we're talking about eyelids we're talking about consultants maybe doctors view this you know nurses with years of experience um civil engineers not all those fresh graduate too the ones that really have real life experience go 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 that when they see your CV like this yes highly skilled and another one they want to consider is skills in high demand like I've, i have explained earlier skill that is actually in high demand like healthcare sector agric now most countries are looking for agric 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 agriculture agriculture so many countries are actually trying to direct be move to a country economy so if you have anything so ones that is in high demand that i know is agric healthcare it um Canada is not really of hospitality and tourism, so it's not in high demand. It's Australia that needs hospitality and tourism because of their wildlife, um, blah blah blah. Then which other thing like that? So you can just check. Um, I think I have a video. I'm making a video about jobs in high demand in in Canada. Then another one that is on our list is graduates. Graduate from recognized schools, very very important before they will actually consider you. And that's one of those things I used to tell people. <sighs> that's one of these things i used to tell people don't just study just because you want to study don't just study because you want to go to any university make sure your school is accredited make sure it's well known there are so many websites where you can check um ranking for your school we have qts world ranking we have university clinical just type it on google just check the um this information so make sure your school is highly ranked and again somehow the country you actually study kind of matter but not really some of the time just make sure that your school is actually accredited not like when they are seeing your city like which type of this thing is this so they actually want graduates that actually graduated from highly respectable and recognized school and aside that with a recognized degree don't just study maybe for example you did christian religious knowledge what 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 do we need it for in in, in canada what for what do you want to come and push to us do you want to come and push? or somebody that study political science for what exactly for what so i think i have a video on that that is coming um courses that you should never study in canada or you should not even study so there are some countries that your christian religious knowledge you be you have i do have high demand for where some countries that you don't have high demand for different countries have different um Job styles in high demand, like I said, for example, hospitality and tourism. For example, now can um Australia actually has um kind of more job opportunities for people in the hospitality or tourism department? That's because I said because of their wide life. You know that hospital um Australia is land of animals. They have a lot of animals. Okay. So that one they actually kind of in high demand. But in Canada, Canada is just normal human being. Though they have love for their animals, then but then. When you talk about tourism, it is not in high demand there. So that's why I said, even when you study a course, there are some um, countries that you actually have more job prospects, and we have some that you know have job prospects. So generally, it's always good to actually study a course that is versatile, that you know that, okay, well, anywhere you are, you have high job prospects. Example is healthcare, example is IT, example is, um, each other thing, engineering. Yeah, not all engineering jobs have high job prospects, even civil engineering. Like in UK, civil engineering is not a thing in the UK. And that one is aerospace engineering. Aerospace engineering is not a thing in the UK. But then it's kind of a thing in either Germany or, or Australia. So before you actually study a course, make sure to look at, just look at, plan your future ahead, the type of country you're actually targeting. And even if you have any of these um, degrees, you can actually get a job or get hired in the Canada in Canada but then I'm just trying to tell you that someone is kind of it's kind of slim the chances are slim then the next one at least is okay so so far that is what I actually feel according to my research that actually feel like Canada will actually be looking from now they don't really care about whether you have high points whether you have low points what they will be looking at is benefits um i'm um, sorry foreigners actually can actually contribute to their economy 
that is what they will be considering now so if you're watching this try to like improve yourself in what way or the other just know that or if you have low score already this is just to give you another encouragement that your low score does not mean you actually not be qualified as long as you certify all these conditions and even at that even when you're applying for any job or anything make sure to always try to always improve yourself don't just stay and say oh i have this qualification and that's it always always try to improve yourself so guys that will bring us to the end of today's video i hope you really um enjoyed it and yeah i've actually learned something so guys i'll see you in this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in this video bye guys bye I'll see you in this video guys.